Hello YouTube, it's me again, your friendly neighborhood Green Party rep for Humber St. Barb Bay Vert. Um, just uh, another quick video letting you know that the new updates in my life. Um, today I was given an impromptu uh, video interview with a CBC News correspondent. Um, special thanks to Mr. Pigott for that particular kindness. Um, that was a pleasant enough surprise, and then he happened to mention in passing that I was in the paper this morning. I didn't know that. I knew that my cancer fundraiser yesterday got some media attention. Um, <laughs> and I found out that I wasn't in the paper once, I was in the paper twice, on page 2 and on page 3. Uh, the first one was the biggest color photo that I had seen in the newspaper so far. It was uh, actually the same size as a color photo on the cover, I think, on, the, on page one, which kind of blew me away. There wasn't any article attached to this particular picture, but the caption reads, It took Robin Goss five years to grow his hair out to be about t 12 to 14 inches long, and less than 10 minutes for Laura Hamilton of Bob's Barbershop, special thanks to her, to shave it off. Goss, the Green Party candidate for the Humber St. Barb Bavert riding, did the D to raise money for the Cancer Society with his haircut going to make a wig. So, that's good press. I didn't expect that. And additionally, there was uh, another news clipping on page 3 about the moose call. Um, I was interviewed for that on was it Thursday or Friday. Um, all well and good. The press was good. I had some people stop me in the street and say that they saw me in the paper. The woman I bought the newspaper from today uh, had mentioned that she had seen it. Uh, members of the university when I did my exam yesterday, which I think went pretty well, all things considered. Uh, people, like friends of mine had told me that they had seen my face in the paper and had heard my voice in the radio, for better or for worse, at least admitted to having experienced it. Um, and I might have mentioned this in the last video. My papers have gone through. I had a vocal confirmation from the returning officer that people can now vote for me. Um, just a shout out to all the people in the riding. You can vote early. Unless I'm drastically mistaken, all members of this particular riding can go to Elections Canada and cast their vote before they leave the province if they're not from here, but feel as though they deserve the chance to have their vote made in Cornerbrook. A lot of members of Grenfell are students from away, and uh, second year students, third year students, who want to spend the next few years here, have the right to have their opinions made since they'll spend most of their days in this riding. And um, even though Green Party has a rep in every single riding of the entire country, all 308, um, they may want to vote here because, again, their school is here and all their friends are here. Um, uh, what else? There's a candidate, get to know you, meeting, mixer, whatever, at uh, the Elections Canada office today at 3 o'clock. I'll be there for that. I'll get a chance to meet Trevor Taylor, she, uh, Shelley Sr., Jerry Byrne, and uh, the independent candidate. I haven't met him personally. Um, But, I'm looking forward to getting to know everyone and getting my voice out there, I suppose. Um, the Newfoundland Independent Candidate, Wayne Bennett, I don't know anything about. I'm looking forward to meeting with him and getting those, um, and crossing that particular bridge. But, after my meeting, I don't know how long that's going to be, um, I have a study session for my stats exam on Thursday, and thank God for that, uh, from 5 o'clock to 7, I think. I'll confirm that later. Um, so, um, that is uh, going to be exciting. Getting that over with. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, so yes, it is 5 to 7 o'clock. Um, and 
Uh, after that, I'm sure I'll begin to do some more studying or maybe some house cleaning. Um, I did have the fortune of creating a pamphlet today. Um, so I have my Green Party of Pamphlets done up, as ironic as it may be. Um, the template is finished. Uh, this week I'm going to buy some 100% post-consumer product paper so that I can add the caption uh, printed on all recycled paper. And I'm going to fire it through my color printer and make it all green and make some borders and make it pretty and stuff. Uh, the green party is not a bland party. We don't have bland ideals, so our media should not be bland. Additionally, um, mentioned in the paper was the comparison contrast produced by Chris Noseworthy, great guy by the way, um, for the different media that the parties have on the internet. Um, the effort was made to uh, make a clear distinction between what parties uh, were trying to do in the mass media experience. So I suppose I've been in the paper three times today. He mentioned Facebook, Twitter, and general web experience. Um, as far as I can determine, I'm a close second of the five groups. Uh, Jerry Byrne has a slightly better, or actually has a Facebook page for the Liberal Party, and has a liberal website. Wonderful. They have more resources than I do, they've had more time to prepare, and uh, even though Jerry Byrne has a Twitter account, I really don't think he personally tweets. The only volunteer I've got on my team is my spouse, who is my treasurer, my authorized agent, my um, secretary, and every other position that I can't or won't do myself. All well and good. Because of this um, Web Insights column produced by Mr. Noseworthy, I will now know which particular facets to attack next. He did say that um, I express real and political opinion without seeming fake on Twitter. And thank you, Chris, for that. Um, uh, I will make an effort to retweet less, as he commented. But, again, if I didn't have this kind of feedback, I wouldn't be able to improve, which is supposed to be the nature of the politic thing. Um, so, I'll deal with that later. Um, I am looking for professional web developers, I'm looking for professional graphical editors, and people who wanted to assist in the Green Party in any way. You don't need to be part of uh, my writing, or part of the Green Party to volunteer. So anyone who wants a killer letter of reference, anyone who wants that on a resume, they volunteered for a political party during the campaign, it will be appreciated, and I'm sure we'd all have a good experience. Um, so, I don't know what else. I had to mention, I've had a few positive comments on my new haircut. Um, it's cold, today is a particularly miserable, rainy, shitty day, and standing out in the rain getting an interview was not very pleasant, especially since I didn't want to wear a hat because being bald is good, uh, good shock value, but that's alright. Um, I'll bring this video to a close, I guess, I have a bunch of things to take care of before my candidate meeting and the uh, tutoring session. So, keep posted. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, drop them in the box below. Um, and I will, hopefully tomorrow, make a comment about the question period video series I'm going to pr produce, create. Um, basically, taking questions like the moose hunt in Grossmoor National Park, or the seal hunt, or, um, as I said in the last video, uh, Lower Churchill Falls, Muskrat Falls, uh, Upper Churchill, the Atlantic Accord, uh, the environment, uh, the Corner Brook, wastewater treatment plant, drinking water treatment plant, the parks and New City Hall, whatever, the roads, God save us for the roads. I'm going to take a particular issue, do some research on it, and mention the Green Party's stance. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns on that front, if you want anything addressed, then I'll be more than happy to mention that in the video when my campaign actually begins. Um, I don't want to wait until the 20th to deal with that. It won't take much effort. It'll be a pleasant distraction from studying. 
Um, so, I will let you go and have a great evening. I, uh, well, afternoon now. I will chat with you all in future videos, and thanks again for your following and your comments. Have a wonderful day.